So Megan Good and Devon Franklin are getting a divorce. I didn't exactly care about this, but I kept seeing videos about it and somebody made a post about it this morning. So that motivated me to actually click and watch a video to learn about why people are devastated over this. Now, I do find it upsetting and disappointing when people get divorced, but I just didn't have any specific attachment to either of them. Megan Good is an actress. She's very pretty and used to have like really thin eyebrows, but she re recently got an eyebrow transplant in Devon Hall. Devon Franklin, I don't know why I keep saying Hall. I've restarted this video multiple times because I said Hall. Devon Franklin was or is a movie producer and that's where she met him. I'll start by saying I'm Brianna and I talk about entrepreneurship, but I'm talking about this because I've got some thoughts and some experiences that I think lend me a useful perspective in a situation like this. So Megan Good met Devon on a movie set, I believe, and she recalled that she said she wished she could marry someone like that, but she didn't have the self-worth to think that she could marry someone like that. Um, at some point they connected and she said God told her that he was her husband. And even though she would later learn that he was a minister, um, they still, he still accepted her as she was and they got together and got married. Um, so I feel like some people are going to have some comments about like, did God put them together or they were unequally yoked, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I wanted to speak to that. First of all, I wanna say, well, let me say, start by saying, I married my husband 2014 and I felt like God, I didn't feel like, I, I felt like I got confirmation from God, I still said feel, that we were supposed to be together. He was the one for me. I really, really prayed because I did not want to get into a marriage I wasn't supposed to be in. As the years went on, I'd be like, why did God put us together? Like, <laughs> we are not going in the same direction. We don't care about the same things. We're not growing at the same rate. And I, I didn't see why we were put together. Then, this year, I understood it a little bit differently. And I also comment on soulmates here. Some people believe in soulmates, some people don't. I've always believed that we have multiple soulmates. And um, this, I would never have said that my husband was my soulmate. I didn't think he was, but this year I began to think he is and this is why. I learned, I got, I got perspective on who we are and who we should be. And I realized that maybe a soulmate isn't exactly what we usually think of it as, as the person who's just like, your person and so perfect for you and so compatible. And maybe it's more of, if your souls are fully realized or fully evolved, then you would be perfect for each other. Or in this soul is a mate or companion for you as you do the work and they will present challenges and support you through challenges to help your soul evolve. So once I understood that, I could see exactly how my husband is actually my soulmate. So even though we're not, we're opposites, so <laughs> we are very different. So even though we haven't felt compatible all the time, it's about the work and it's about our compatibility on a soul le level. So with that said, I've also come to times, as apart from that realization, but I've come to times in marriage where I'm just like, why is this not working out? Um, I know that God put us together and sometimes that belief that God put us together has been what has kept me hopeful because I'm like, you know, God, I've asked you and you said yes, so there's got to be something here for me. But what I have learned recently, what I've understood recently is just because it's hard doesn't mean God didn't bring you to this challenge. And just because God puts you together doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. We have work to do. We are imperfect. If we got married and we were perfect when we got married, then 
okay, that's great. But I believe when I got married, I felt like it was a sanctifying process. If you're churchy, you'll know that word, but I felt like the process of being married or being married created opportunities for me to become better and better because I'm doing life on life with this person. So if that's the case, we didn't come to marriage perfect. We are going to have to work with each other to become, and you can, you know, we'll never be perfect, but to evolve. And so that process isn't necessarily easy. I would take it a step further, depending on, you know, how you feel about marriage in a spiritual sense, but I would take it a step further to say that just because God brought you to somebody, does that mean that it's supposed to be forever? Or can it be that you are supposed to do this segment of life together and evolve your soul to this, you know, in this period of time? Now, I think that I don't, I don't know exactly what I think about that. I mean, obviously I'm still with my husband because I've, we've gotten past the obstacles and I know there will be more as we continue to do this work on our souls. Um, but that's just something that I've thought about in the past. So that's the point I wanted to bring up just because she said, or they believe that God brought them together and they're not together now, that does not mean that God didn't bring them together. That means that they they did the work that they were doing and maybe they quit too soon or maybe they were not able to complete the work or to continue the work because we are human, we are not God. So we can't see how to navigate through everything and sometimes we tap out when we shouldn't tap out or you know maybe they need to tap out I don't know their business and the other piece to that is recognizing that sometimes we don't know how to do it right and I feel very blessed that my husband and I have been able to grow together and stick by each other long enough to get to those places where we have the awareness to look back and say I didn't know how to say what I needed and that's what my husband said to me um, he said he didn't know how to say that. He didn't know how to meet my need. And sometimes we just don't know and it's unfortunate because you can only do what you can do. So I think those are some of the reasons that even when God puts us together, we don't make it work out. It's just because like our growth isn't happening at the same rate or we're not being honest to come together and say like, let me help you. This is where I'm at. Um, there are so many factors it's not always because people aren't meant together sometimes it's just because we falter and sometimes it's because we falter too soon and i think i hope that um being honest is taken more seriously and some people are very comfortable not being honest not sharing things that are important to me with him because i don't trust him with my heart or with my emotions because he didn't know how to do something in the past or because I didn't know how to do something in the past. Um, that's, that's what I hope that people can take from this and try not to do. I think it was a little bit all over the place at the end, but I gotta take my son to get a haircut and I just wanted to make this video. Um, if you like my trends of thoughts please subscribe to my channel like the video like my facebook page and i'll be back with more commentary like this until next time